do it yourself or did you have to do no. it? Hey, everybody, there's probably a commercial happening right now. Welcome to Kimball's Corner. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Kimball's Corner. Happy Sunday. Who are you? Tonight's <laughs> snack is from I literally just got these. Literally. Oh wow. Bite sized wafers with cocoa. <sighs> But that's not attractive, so we put it in this. There it is. Here. And now I shall try one for my delicious thing. Me pleasure. as well. You may notice the camera's at an angle today because we have completely rearranged Kimball's room, which you will see at the end of the live. Stay tuned. Something to look forward to. They're okay. It's got a cardboard flavor and then a hint of sweet cardboard flavor. It's like flavor. choco dust. Chest. I love a good bit of chest. As you may have seen, whoop, we're doing... Clownfish inspired portrait. Fun! Cindy says hello. Hey, girl. Hi. I am not entirely sure how I want. Okay, so I see how this like goes around the fish. I don't know if I want that. I think I want like lines going across the face. You don't want a big white circle going around her entire face in mm -hmm. that motion. I mean, it would look like she has a small face because it would be orange in the middle and then like white. And so it would look, it would look weird. I, I feel like I've weird. seen a clown paint their face like that. Trisha says hey girl what you saying good evening all the snacks look nice oh good evening smiley face they're all right you know crunchy crunchy mm. munchy munchy oh this is what they sound like okay go ahead i'm sorry can we have another camera in the room to film you doing this no <laughs> okay all right this creeper is just for the eye which is just black with orange around it Putting you guys off to the side. So we spent a half hour setting up Kimball's camera. And then he's like, I need to like set it up so my knee doesn't hit this bar. And then he literally sat down and hit the bar so hard with his knee. That Listen, it like, I'm here to raise the bar, okay? You kick the bar is what you do. So anyway, back to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spritz the page with some water and lay down some hot cocoa, fresh orange, and lemon sherbet on the page. Mm. I don't know if I really need lemon sherbet. There's not really any yellow on these fishy magoos. So fishy magoos. There's not really any brown either, but you know, dark color. Oh, and we did the camera at an angle so Kimball can lean over. Lean I can over. lean all the way over here. Now I can lean over my page now and not interrupt you of viewing pleasure. So that way he's not just guessing where the eyes go. <laughs> now I can't use that as an excuse, is what we're saying. Yeah, you have to get him right every time. No, we don't do that in Kimball's quarter. All right, spritzing. Oh, now we know we're getting something started. Beate says, hi there. Hey, Beate, and hey, girl, hey. Spritzing down some yellow. Spr I'm not spritzing, we're plopping. Plop, plop. This is how I do it. Oh, I don't have, where am I going to put the white ring? Okay. Didn't you have like all day to figure this out? I had all two weeks to figure this out. Did I do it? No, because I was so concerned about possibly going to jury duty. And how'd that pan out? I don't have to go. Yay! All that <laughs> worrying for something. I was so excited when it was like, jurors with this number don't have to go. And I was like, yes. Yes. So do I smush the book or do I drippy drip? Smush that book. Oh my god. Smush oh my know, whatever god. Whatever you want. I'll smush the book. I was just saying it because it was funny. I feel like a softer color. This looks very Halloween-ish. This is Halloween. Halloween. Not today, clownfish. Smash it. Oh, can I just hit it really hard? Uh, if you want to mess up all of your hard I work. I don't. We just want to rub it. We love it. We love the Back to the Fuchsia book. Cassie Holmes says, good morning, Kimball, Rocky, and everyone on a work meeting. We'll catch up later. XXX. Cassie, what's more important, honey? I think we talked about this. <laughs> I always like anything that ends in a triple X. And then Trisha says, this week, I tried to tidy my art space up a bit. I am so messy. I tidied up my art space because I rearranged everything. So now I'm facing Rocky while we do this. Oh, I feel very radio. Like, ooh. We're, oh, uh, it's like a podcast. I don't know, I guess. I, I wouldn't know. I don't do those things. It's like news radio. I can't come up with things to talk about. I can never do a news thing. News. News. Or, news. Or, you're, a, you're a loser for the news. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't even do an interest piece. I'm what just going to... What do you see, Kimball, in the rash act? In the rash act? <laughs> I see me. Only me. That's a song. I see demons. Um, <laughs> that's a song from Death Becomes Her. Oh, is it? I mean, kind of. I don't know. Meryl Streep singing it when she walks down the steps. In Lauren says, hi, wave everyone. Hey. 
I am going to start sopping up some stuff because I'm just, I can't wait. So we know that some of you are joining a bit later. So if you are just joining, a snack is bite-sized wafers with cocoa. Oh and my God. And I'm using my cocoa ink. It smells like chocolate. Kimball is doing a woman painted inspired by clownfish. Will it turn out? We don't know. But I got some color on the page. So bonus. Bonus. Sounds like. <laughs> anyway. Why did you smile when you said that? Trisha says, I'm so pleased you didn't have to go to jury duty service. Oh, jury girl, service. you have no idea. When I found out, I was like hop, skipping and jumping and twirling in the kitchen. I was so happy. By the way, you both looked gorgeous at the wedding. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. People were asking to see wedding pictures. Okay. Rocky, you may look for wedding pictures on my phone if you want to share oh, some. Oh, may I? Thank you. you. Oh, we can. Well, we can start with that. Oh, look at those two gentlemen. Um, I just want to preface this with that Kimball has never done black tie or really formal anything. I'm like for our wedding, it was like a struggle to get me to wear a button up t-shirt or a button up shirt. But I did, you know, that one time. So we went to Kohl's and we got some outfits. So this was, uh, I don't even know if you can see it. It's the, the, the <laughs> aperture is quite low right now. So I can't really move it up toward the camera. So that's that one. That's probably dry. And wait, burn my mouth. One moment, please. One moment, please. I have no idea. Oh, they had us um, for their wedding book. They had us take like little. Oh, I posted that one on Insta. Uh, I don't want to get the light in it. There we I go. saw it and I was like, Polaroids make me look older. <laughs> <laughs> older. All right, inks away. Inks away. Inks away. Sip a coffee. Here's your phone, Kimmel. Let's do the handoff. Wow, you really showed them all the pictures that I already posted. I win. Dang it! Okay, so the big struggle here is... Cindy says, aw, I love that picture. Oh, thank you. I don't think your account's right, because there's like five people commenting, but it says only two are watching. <laughs> so I think there's probably more people here than it says there are. No, that's fine. Whatever. We're glad to have anyone. I'm here to create an... I love it when people can join along. Create. Ideate. Ew, it looks like two creepy eyes. And it's like a big bee flying out of like this dark swarm. That's not happening. Um, I'm not doing this whole like white bonnet thingy looking. Yeah, we get it. So I might do eyes. Just, I might just do like black splotchy across right here. And then try and do the eyes with colored pencil. Like they'll still be like really dark. Because... It had better look exactly like a clownfish. If like, there even resembles a person. Should I just like glue that there and yes, call it good? Yes, done. All right. Looking for my sanity. Good luck with um, that. I worked out while watching Star Trek Next Generation. And then had to come up and set the camera. And did not take a shower. So all the sweat has dried on me. You're welcome. Yeah, I was like, Rocky, what's that? And it was like sweat drips down his side that had dried. He's all, do you have a scar here? I was like, no, it's just deodorant. I was like, what is this? Anyway, TMI. Getting these all nice and wet, am I right? Jay says, I'm watching at work. I should be medicating my patients. Oh, well. Just have them watch with you. This is your medication, <laughs> Jay. Okay, you have to medicate yourself before you can medicate anybody. I mean, I don't know if those are wise words, but... Oh, and Jenna is possibly joining us via mm, listening. Yes, she's driving home. Um, she's on the way home. And she will brush? join us soon. A paintbrush will help me get paint on the page. Lauren says, okay. how was your weekend, everyone? Mm. You know, it was very stressful because all I could think about was jury duty. And now I don't have it. So what a waste. Am I right? What did we even do yesterday? You pulled weeds. Oh, yes. I went out to the backyard and pulled weeds. That only took a mm. half hour, though. And I did get, like, five or six mosquito bites because I was, like, I only had my pants on. <laughs> I couldn't be bothered to put on a shirt. Sounds so good. now I have bites all over me. But whatever. They were hungry. I feed the children. Do ya. I'm going to make a very dark orange color. I could have just used brown. Brown. Why, brown. why do you say brown like that? Because it's sitting right there and I'm like, brown, there you are. And I just dirtied up my beautiful orange. You really did. You really did. I really did it this time. I really did. Um, All right, just, we're going to... Jay says... I'm going to use... I really like this. your color selections. I use it as a guide as I continue to learn. Dot, oh, dot, dot. That's cool. Trisha asks, have all the cicadas gone now? Girl... 
Yeah, well, the 17 year ones have, yes, but we have like the yearly ones now, which those you are know. the ones you hear and they sound terrifying, but you don't actually see them. So yeah, we're fine with that. Because there's they're they're far and few between. I don't know what this is, but there was there was something happening there. So it's it's part of the page now. Everything's intentional. All right, you know what? Clownfish color inspired because I'm doing what I want. <laughs> I think we all knew this was coming, regardless. Oh, okay. As long as somebody knew. Adding some texture. This is how I do my mermaid scale texture, if you wanted to know. Now it looks like a cat that like broke into the chocolate and it's like flying across their face as they're running forward. You see the little ears up here? Oh, yeah. Like the cat ears and the chocolate going across. Anyway. Yeah, no, like I see it. I see what I want. Chocolate cat. So, Kimball. Yes, my love. What do you want to talk about tonight? Um, what do you want to know from everyone who's here? All four of them. Hmm. I mean, how was your weekend? I mean, yes. How was your weekend? I feel like I'm painting weird clouds in front of like a moon thing. Maybe you are. No, I'm not. Um, Jay asks, "What are your thoughts on chameleon markers?" Ooh, chameleon markers. I am not familiar. I know the name. Are are those the three markers? Don't you have the chameleon watercolors? No. Oh. Um, chameleon markers. I feel like they're the blendy ones that. Oh, they change color after a while. Like you do the tip to tip thing. Is that what those are? Oh my god, fill me in. I'm not a real artist. Let me look, I'm looking I don't it know up. these things. I'm looking it up. Somebody. Chameleonmarkers.com. Um, .com. They are these. Oh, I've seen them at Michael's. Let me see. Are those... Do you do like the tip to tip and like they grade eight out? These. Those, Kimball. Yes, there they are, Metallic. Or do they... Excuse you. Don't want that. It was a cat in a rocket ship. How could you not want that? I think we know. I don't know. I haven't tried them. He can't help you, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> but Sorry. Do you have them? Do, do I need to try them out? What are your thoughts on chameleon markers? Um, Beate says, while I'm eating frozen pizza, I burn. It's a mood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do love a brown cheesed pizza. That is a mood. Um, Trisha says she has the chameleon markers and has never used them. Girl, why aren't you using them? <laughs> um, Lauren says Carnival Friday night went up to Lake Erie Ooh, for the fun. day yesterday, and today was a work on craft projects day. Somebody had a much more productive weekend than we did <laughs> for sure. Although our neighbors did give us free flowers in a vase, so shout out to they the were neighbors. they were children and they yes. started their own flower shop called yes. whatever their names are Flower Company. I can't remember. I'm so sorry if they're watching, but it was free, and I was like, "How are you going to turn a profit?" Well, they were like. Our, we're just called the flower shop. And I was like, no, what's your name? You have to have a you have to have a shop name before we're gonna take anything from you. This before is, we steal anything. This is nothing like I imagined it was gonna turn out. Did you even have a plan? In my mind, I just kept picturing a black stripe with eyes. That's all I pictured. But now it's like muddled brown. It's fine. I'm getting like masquerade we're vibes. We're still gonna do eyes in there. I just don't know what they're gonna look like. Um, and I don't know which way I want her head to be turned. Setting those aside. Sipping some coffee to procrastinate. Jay says it's really helpful. Or I'm sorry. It really helps amateurs like myself with the blending. Almost like I'm cheating. Oh, the markers? Probably. I allow it. Okay. She should be rocking. This is this directed at you. She she is she looking straight on or is she like turned? Turned. 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 She turned. Is that a word? Turned. Turned. Yes, she's turned, Kimball. She's turned into a fish girl. She done turned. Okay. Let's pick a color. That is such a tiny pencil. I mean, honestly, I would say do whatever feels right for that swatchy. Oh God, new space. Where is my... There it is. I keep going like, hi, itch. I'm like, what is it? Oh, it's mosquito bites. I know. Can we just move on from the hot, muggy weathers? Weathers. By the way, I just need to check to see when summer ends. Because I just need to have something to look forward to. I know, I'm so over it. I mean, I'm over summer when, it, like, May hits. It ends on June... I'm sorry, September 22nd. Oh. Get rid of it. Okay, that's close. It says September 21st. Um. Well, technically, oh. this one says that August 31st. Okay, back to me. So, no, I think I'm going to do straight on, because I think her eyes look more impactful in the dark. So, thank you for nothing. Yeah, I love that idea. Okay, me too. So, mm, she's going to have big, weird... I got to remember, she is inspired by a fish. 
big creepy eyes. Trisha says, I don't um, don't know. I've had them about five years. I like my pro markers, but I haven't used them either for such a long time. Honey. Honey. Five years. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I discovered this recipe for, um, I'm trying to like not eat wheat basically. And I discovered this recipe for oat pancakes where you basically just take like, like whole oats and you make your own flour just by putting them in a blender. And it is so good. It is, it is so delicious. I prefer mine with a nice apricot preserve from that one company that helped during the Holocaust, saving people. Yes, that one. Yeah. Um, You're welcome. I just like honey on mine. But anyway, they're really good. They have like a lemon. Um, yeah, yours doesn't tell a story. Just honey, like honey. I'm sorry, the most, you know, industrious being on the planet produces for us. Okay. Well, if you're going to put it that way, like one of our... Um... Trisha asked a very important question. Yes, ready? I, I'm ready for this. How is it going with the cricket, Kimball? Girl, it is holding all of my frames over there really well. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't opened it yet. I'm scared. You're just not inspired, Well, Kimball. the reason I the reason I got it is because I want to do kiss cut sticker sheets. But I never did Etsy because of COVID and I didn't want to like ship things out and I'm lazy. Um, so... Now I don't know if I even need it. Uh-oh. But I love it. So I'll figure something out, out with it. I don't know what to do with it. All I know is stickers and cutouts. But... Some poor artist is just waiting to get a cricket, and you just have one sitting on your shelf not doing anything, Kimball. $200. And well, and you have to come pick it up. <laughs> I didn't realize you were offering it for sale. Well, I'm not really. Gotcha. One day you might just be like, oh, I, and the minute you sell it is when you're going to want it, by the way. Well, that's when I'll figure out what, like, some, pro I know there's lots of things I can do with it. I don't know. I see people, I've only really seen people do stickers with them. And I know you can do, like, a million things with them, but I'm not, like, I'm not a craft person. So I don't know. This fish wants black lips, orange lips, dark lips, yellow lips, orangey yellow lips. Let's do some lips. Lips in here. I'm gonna get big old weird fish lips. Yeah. Even though this fish has lips. like it is oh. even though their mouth's kind of oh. You look at that. You look at that right there. I can you thing. show them. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, what am I doing? This gonna draw these pretty lips for me. Okay, well, we're just gonna take inspiration. We're not gonna draw. Exactly. That's the face I make when I'm on like a Teams call and someone doesn't mute their mic when they're supposed to. Like that's the face I make. But I want the mouth a little open. We're just going for the shape. I hear the ice cream man. Do uh do these fish have teeth or like little teeth or no teeth? Do clownfish have teeth? Dot com. Let me find out. It's very important. What are you not gonna give her? I don't know. Well, I was just gonna. I didn't know if they had like spiky teeth or something. So I wrote have... feet. Do they have feet? Um, I'm pretty sure they don't. Clownfish have teeth with a very strong jaw. It makes it more aggressive. Clownfish is a popular fish Doesn't for beginners. Show a of their teeth. Sorry, let me just find out. Um, mm, 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 mm. I was looking at their eyes. Their eyes are spooky slash cool. So it's just a big black circle. <laughs> um, show, show me. <laughs> ah! I don't know why. I don't so see any teeth. I don't see any teeth out. It says they have them. I don't believe it. Okay. It says they have them. She is going to look possessed if I draw Maybe her. Maybe she eyes. has dentures, Campbell. Maybe. So. Oh, this one's given shade. So we're going to draw a big spooky circle. Look at that one. He's like, oh. definitely not having it. Whatever's happening. And what are they hanging out in? I don't know. It's pretty, though. Is it? Or is it kind of spooky? Whoa, it's... she's all like, you guys, I can see into your soul. Oh, I found a good one with their so. teeth, Kimball. Look at it. That's their little teeth. <laughs> Can you see the teeth okay. on the clownfish? Well, we know there's teeth. This is an improvement. Anyway. So, so just give her millions of tiny little teeth. Well, I'll give her... Well, not millions. She's going to have appropriate size teeth for her... Why? There face. should be memes for all of these. I'm telling you. Like, what is happening? Yeah. Spooky. Like why? That's so funny. That is funny. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna do this right now, so I don't forget that there's actually like, teeth in there. 
Why is this turning into like a Halloween picture? I don't know. I'm fine with that. Trisha says there was a picture of some kind of fish recently that had teeth that looked like human teeth that were seriously spooky. Oh, I know. I saw that. Like, ew. Uh-uh. Like, no, don't steal our teeth. You've already stolen everything else from us. <laughs> give us our teeth. I'm not going <laughs> to give her whites in her eyes. She's going to have spooky eyes. Oh, wow. Okay. You did give her those teeth. Got it. Mm hmm. So the eye is straight up just black in the middle. So. And if she's underwater, there's zero reflection. So that's just real creepy. We're going to work with this. You just take it all the way, Kimball. She's going to be so pretty. I mean, she I can't be... wait to see her dating profile. She is gorgeous. She likes to go for long swims. <laughs> very, very short walks on the beach. Yeah. Gasping for breath, darling. Oh, and then it's going to be black around it. Someone put on the creeper goggles. What's up? I was just zooming in, so people could see more. Yeah, let's zoom into that. <laughs> I don't see why not. Oh, I mean. <laughs> Jay says, are you self-taught or went to school um, to learn your craft? Uh, I just did high school uh, art classes and junior high art classes. No college stuff. Who can afford that, am I right? Anyone who, you know, puts time and effort into it. Um, I can't... That don't mean you're going to make money. Well, you never know. That's true. Her eyes are uneven, but she's she's okay with that. And so are we. It's definitely not the overhead cam. So, I think she looks great. What are you talking about? Oh, is she finished? No. no. She, her eyes are <laughs> even. Okay. Um, I just mean, like, the size, like... Whatever. Oh, she's fine. She's, it's not she like we love it. Mascara. Nature's not exact every time. Mm, that's true. A little, a little yellow. Nature is all about anti-symmetry. No? Maybe. It sounded fine. Maybe. Um, but Lauren says, before I forget, live idea, use art supplies from five below. Okay. Challenge accepted. Um, Jay says, I assume you get lots of requests for commissions. Um, I used to get more so than I, do. I mean, I've kind of made it pretty common that like known that I don't do commissions anymore because that was a nightmare for uh, some people. I mean, some people were kind of a nightmare to work with. Um, uh, so yeah, no, I don't, I don't do commissions anymore. It's also not like a necessity for Kimball to do them. Right. If ever the day comes where I got to make that money, I'll be back and doing commissions as it is right now. Thanks, Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> Kimball used to do a lot of digital art. So like before, maybe two or three years ago, Kimball was strictly doing digital art. He always had a background in like illustration and he used to do like some paintings here and there, but he he just would do digital art all day long, basically. Yeah. He would color comics, things like that. So well, I used to, yeah, I used to actually color comics too. Not a lot, but it was a job that I did. And so he, you know, he finally got into doing more traditional art. And that's mainly why you see, especially on these lives, Kimball doesn't do a lot of like planned out art. He just does like whatever kind of comes to him type I of just thing. just wing it. So he, he kind of has like a different, he has a lot of different art styles. And like one of them is just, he sits down and like plops things down and like sees how they go and whatever <laughs> happens, happens. And he has ones where he illustrates them out and is more planful and they look more like a, a quote unquote finished piece. Yeah. So it kind of just depends. But you guys don't really see those on these types of lives because he just wants to kind of free flow and let it happen. And, and also, this is more like just I like to chat and stuff, too, doing right. this because I used to do the recorded, like, edited videos. And I was just like, I can't make a connection with anybody doing this. So that's why I started doing lives. And lives are scarier. I mean, I can't. I mean, I have to. I'm not good verbalizing my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> and uh I do have to edit myself while I'm speaking because I don't want to say something stupid. I mean, I do all the time anyway, but, you know. Um, Jay says, what about independent projects if an aspiring graphic novelist asked you to do the panels? Nope. <laughs> I, well, I don't like drawing comics. I like drawing, I used to draw like daily comics like of my life, which that was fine. But 
storytelling and art, I think is awesome. And it's probably my favorite art style. Like I love comic books and graphic novels, but doing it, I just, I'm like, how, how did these people do it? Like that is a lot of work. If you knew how to do it well, would you do it? Even if I knew how to do it well, it's so much work. And like to find a story that I, that I'm passionate enough about to do a whole book. Yeah. Like that's, I mean, Rocky and I have written a story, Rocky mostly wrote an entire story. We have numerous characters and I still haven't drawn it. We have a lot of, we have friends who like are in the comic industry who do comics and we know how much work it actually Oh my takes. God. Yeah. Joelle's books right there. If you want to show I, we were walking around New York in like this bookstore and we're, oh, yeah. I was just like, what to get, what to get. And then Rocky like, wouldn't it be like cool if we saw one of Joelle's books just like randomly placed and we literally turned the corner and there was like this giant <laughs> display and it was all Joelle Jones. <laughs> it was like, it's hey, a, let me back this out. I was going to show the back. Uh, it's a hold it really close to your thing because the focus there you go basically it's a poster book of like uh, a bunch of stuff that she's done so i'm excited it's just full of huge pictures lovely so i was very excited to see that in the store Ditto. And obviously we just snatched that right up and then we wrote joelle and we're like um girl i know i'm like we haven't talked in forever but we've made plans Sorry for the jittering. I'm trying to get it to focus or get in the right. That's fine. I'm all sorry for the jittering. I've had like six cups of coffee today. Well, her lips look a little spooky. I'm going to make them darker in the middle, I think. Jay says, what if the price was right? <laughs> Beate says, I love your live streams, but I literally hate everyone else's live streams. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, thank you. I That's very flattering. I don't. We don't watch a lot of live streams, do we? I do not. I don't know how people can draw for a lot. I've seen some of them are like eight hours long. I'm like, what the hell do you do for eight hours? I mean, they probably chit chat. I can barely get through an hour. Kim and I are so funny. Like, we're so not like good at YouTubing <laughs> because, mm -hmm. like, all the things you're supposed to do to like make your channel thrive, we just don't care about. We're just like, I just, it's fun. I just do it for fun. Right. So we're not like out here trying to make this big thing. We're just trying to, you know, every Sunday we're like, let's hang out with our friends. Let's do art. Like, let's have snacks. It's yeah. not like, I mean, I started doing lives for two reasons. One was to connect with people. Because I was just tired of editing and being alone all the time. But also it was because of Corona. Like I was like, it'd be fun to like reach out to people that are just chilling in their own homes, not doing anything. Let's all not do something together. So, you know, silver linings to a horrible thing. I don't know why I'm focusing so much on the lips right now. Like what's happening? I don't know. You were just talking. You got in a vibe. <sighs> yeah, she looks really frightened. Like, whoa, somebody poked <laughs> her in the wrong spot. I can't wait to see where it all goes. Uh, yeah, me either. But thank you guys for joining us and chatting with us. It's actually, you know, we really look forward to it every week. So we appreciate yeah. you guys joining in and having conversations with us, and making can, that connection. And can we all imagine just how bitter I would be if I had to go to jury duty tomorrow? <laughs> well, that's, we're still on that. Oh, I would be on that constantly. I think we're still going to be talking about it for a couple of weeks. I'd like, so they can't call me again for two years, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> those are the rules, right? <laughs> Leave me alone. I was like, I'm going to move this cord off. You know what? I'm just going to keep drawing. Just because I think it's shaking the camera when it shakes the lights. Uh, oh, yeah. For those that joined late, we are trying a new setup because I rearranged the room. So if you get C sickness, it's Kimball's fault. It's Rocky's. Is that better? Is that shaking? It's fine. It's better now. I think the cord was hitting whatever the light was hitting the cord. It was shaking things. Well, I wasn't even paying attention. So Lauren says, yeah, Kimball is the only live stream I watch too. Uh -huh. It's my Sunday hangout. And then uh -huh. she had this face. I love you guys. <laughs> That's so sweet. That makes me happy. You <laughs> love me. You really love me. That's what it reminds me of. What is that even from? <laughs> they like me. They really like me. I don't know, it's from that thing. Isn't it didn't Sally Field say when she got an award? No, oh, I mean it's probably yes, from a movie. She was accepting her Oscars or something, right? Yeah, it's probably from a movie. She's probably quoting herself or something. I don't know. Um, let's do like this color. Good old Sally. But uh what's in this drawer? Oh look, Kimball, I've got one of these. It's like one of those lens wipes. She's clean. Isn't that the one that scratches though? Oh, sorry, she doesn't need that. It could be like a nice hat for her though. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we should like have a Rocky's Corner once a month. I don't think so. Once a month, we that should just do a Rocky's like Corner. A lot of work. I was tempted to do like a like themed months. Like one month we'll do like a focus on like body parts. Another month we'll do a focus on watercolors. One month we'll you know something like that, but never really came in fruition. I found our old checks. Okay. 
in this drawer. Just in case we need them. Do you guys ever find old checks? You're like, wow, I still have these. But you like ordered more anyway. You never know. I need them to pay bills online because I can't possibly remember those numbers. That is like way too much work. You're asking too much, sir. I'm just looking through these drawers because I'm so interested in what's in here. I feel like you look through them every time. I never really add anything new. There's like these hard drives. I'm like, what are they? It's all the secrets. Um, Trisha's, oh, sorry. Noah says, Jenna is hanging out with cooler people. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll be sure to remind her to ban you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, now, Noah, you can say whatever you want. Ooh, um, not really. You're so powerful. Trisha says, I have alarms set everywhere, so I don't forget to tune in. Oh, that's nice. I have alarms set, too. <laughs> so I don't forget to actually come on. It's my hand. It just comes over and slaps him. He's like, get up. Um... Jay says, do you draw anime? Would be interesting with your style. Do I draw anime? I used to draw anime a lot. Like, I used to watch Rama one half a ton. That was the first anime that I watched as a kid. And that was in high school. Where is your, like, illustration stuff where you draw, like, comic style? Because that's probably the closest One moment, please. One moment, please. We will share a couple things real quick, just so you can get an idea of, like, what. Maybe. I'm not sure what's in this book, but I see it here. Kibble saw something off in the distance. I'm doing this to keep things entertaining with my hand. That's not fun. I don't want to look at that. Um, I'm here. Oh, what is all this stuff? What I have so many things that I don't know what they are. What sounds like fun for organizing later? No, my little pony stuff. Half naked man. Is it worth bringing over and just showing instead of doing it on the floor? I don't know. <laughs> I... In the meantime, I will take this fish and make it swim gently across the top of the screen, like so. No, I was trying to find my. My uh, my daily comic down. thing, but I don't know where it is. And well, that can be a later project. Yeah, maybe then. I'll find that for later. I think the IKEA sketchbooks that I did for you were down there somewhere. Those are all kind of like that style, right? Sure. I'm back. Here I am. It's me. All right, get back to Irving. Okay. That's a, that's the only break you get tonight. <laughs> I will now search for things. Well, they have IKEA our portraits drawn on the front in Sharpie, and they're in the spiral notebooks. Got it. That's one. All right, let's put some highlighty stuff up around her eyes. Ooh, is this going to turn into like a journal flip? Oh, this one's got boobies. Well, it's all right. What the hell is this? What? I can't see your. That's me. This is when Kimmel got lazy drawing. You look, that took like 20 minutes. So you come right down, lady. <clears throat> I will just show you glimpses every once in a while of Kimball stuff as I look through. So there's one example of his like comic-y stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, back to what you were doing. All right. Girl, you need something, and I'm not sure what it is. Something to do with your eyes, probably. Oh, why are the eyes so spooky? Um, okay, there's some comments here. Let me see. Lauren says, yes, Rocky's Corner. Rocky has to try something new each time. No, he doesn't, Lauren. I think No, maybe, he doesn't. I think maybe at least once a week or once a month. Um I can I can be on the other side. Rocky can be over here. Beate says, there are no cooler people. Aww. Um, I liked when you did the cartoon series, all the 80s cartoons. That was fun. I think that's actually what I started with. Noah has a question. What do you like to put in your tacos? The more important question is, does Kimball eat tacos? That is the question. I don't really eat tacos. And then Jay says, by the way, whoever films and edits the videos where you paint with music does a really good job. That guy that's right over there. That's me. Thank you. I can't really see my hand in there, but yeah, I do way better at those than I do at anything. He's all than Kimball. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Oh, you do. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's be real. You do, babe. I am actually a video editor, so that would make sense. Um, yeah, he's been filming and editing see. stuff since he was like 14 is when you got your first camera. It's just hard, though, because I do it like for a living. So when I get home, I, the last thing I really want to do is like edit and film all weekend. So doing these lives is great. <laughs> yeah, right. And I'm too lazy to learn Premiere. So I just do everything in iMovie, which is limiting to what I can do. But I'm fine with it. It gets the job done. She's a spooky one. This chicky do. She started off as a clownfish and turned into a nightmare. 
Oh, that's very red. Tuscan red. A little too red, am I right? Sienna Brown. Wow, Rocky, you sure are trying really hard Sorry, to find something Sorry, I was trying to like, find something in, worthwhile. Like, no, no, no. I was just trying to find something that wasn't like either naked or like... Who is this character? <laughs> um, This is a guy from... His name is Ost. And he was from a Kickstarter that I contributed to. And I just did some um, fan art of him. I thought he was really cute. Mm, mm. He's a cute character. He is cute. All right, let's... Ooh, her eyes are so spookalish. Um, by the way, thank you very much, Jay, for saying that. I appreciate the compliment. I shipped these up earlier. I'm they just might, bad at taking them. They might be all um, Beate says, the McCormick ads YouTube <laughs> keep showing up. They are great, by the way. Are they, Beate, are they the ads that it's like Nona, the older lady, and she's like judging the other ladies cooking, or are they like recipe video ads, or like which ones are you seeing on there? I'm very curious. This isn't wanting to lay down on this very well. It's kind of just scratching the pencil, but oh, it's doing much better on this side. Get that gunk off. She's coming together. Come together. She's spooky. Clownfish girl. Yeah. Their eyes are just so spookalish. Oh my gosh, this is after 107 days of being apart. That's so crazy just to think about it in that. In oh, don't put on oh. that paint. Whoopsie. It's not terrible. It's just a little bit. Oh, uh, this is... is from a movie, I think. I drew like it was some guy saying nothing, and I just mm. redrew it my way. I'm just looking through. Kimball basically, when I went on tour, he did like a page every single day that I was gone. That is true. This is day 108. Oh, that's cute. I'm like, how do I do that? It's like when you look in the mirror and everything's backwards. Mm hmm. Really cute. So Kimball doesn't really draw like that too much anymore, but he could. Yes. I could. Um, yeah, I was trying to, I was thinking about getting back into doing my daily. Basically, I'd write down like one or two things interesting that happened a day. And then at the end of the week, I'd pick something and kind of create like a comic page out of it. She cute. Yeah, I like her a lot. I love that hairstyle. Anyway, that's enough of that. Oh. Uh, Um, okay. I don't think the highlight helped. Noah says you could use the touch teal. You know, um, that's true. I could. Just said you should do live sessions with the guests choosing what you draw. Oh, we've done that a couple times. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm totally down with that. It just takes some time because I have to wait for people to sign or like to get on. We should we should do that again, though. That's fun. Um, are different. those pencil drawings? Yes, those are pencil drawings. Sometimes he inks them as well. It just kind of depends. With this project, he yeah. was doing a drawing every day, so he wasn't like really feeling like going all out every day. But yeah, normally I will. Um, I just wanted a little yell in the eyes. Normally I will sketch in pencil, and then I will ink on the computer, kind of like the coloring page I had up last week. And then I will, uh, after I ink it, I will do coloring on the computer. Is what I used to do. You're so cute. It's so fun to read these, by the way. Except for the one where you barfed all over the place. It was like, ew. Uh, well, these lashes look much cuter than those ones. Jane Davenport says, the Girl. love between you is so beautiful. Oh. Thanks, Jane. Thanks, Jane. I mean, oh, can I we... Do it. I'm trying oh, to my God. It. We were at a Korean restaurant today, and Rocky tried so hard to do the hearts, and he's doing it like this. Oh, like... yeah. So I'm trying to show Kimball how to do it, like how I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I don't know. You, they're hearts. You just got to do the hearts. And so <laughs> I, I feel like she's the manager came over, and she's like, she saw us kind of like doing it across the table to each other. And then... She, well, she literally walks up and she just like reaches in her pocket and pulls out her hand really quick. She's and she's all, oh, you're like right to my face, <laughs> like right in my face. And then she and then she started doing it like over and, and over again. She like again. took his hand and she like placed his thumb. She's like, "It's heart, it's a heart." And then she proceeded to show us that we weren't eating properly. And so she came she, and stirred like, up stirred our food for us. Oh my god, it was the most adorable thing. She ever. like grabbed mine because it was close and was stirring up my my bib and bap. And then she reached across the entire table because Kimball wasn't doing it right and stirred his bib and bap. It was hilarious, and we now love her to death. Yes, and we'll definitely go back. The food there is so good. We get dulcet, which Dulce. is basically just Dulce different things back. heated in like a stone bowl. Well, I think dulcet is the hot stone bowl, and then we got the bibimbap to go in it. Yeah. So good. Yum. I'm all, and yeah, Jane, I'm using like all your products today, because <laughs> I always do. 
Right. right. And again, if you guys are just joining us recently, Kimball just redid his entire art area. So we're going to show that at the end of the live session. Oh, so, we are. I didn't clean. So stick around. Well, we already someone just dropped off. Great. I scared. Look what you did. They're all like, I don't want to <laughs> see that crap. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Question. Do I give her hair and like go all out or do we just leave a floating face? I think you should give her hair like it's floating in Ugh. the water. Why are you making me do everything? I just think you need to. You have. It, it's only been 40 minutes, Kimball. Really? Yeah. Okay. Get to work. Okay. It feels like forever. Oh, wafers. Let me back this out just a little bit because it's a little... Back it up. Back there we go. Up. Okay. Better. Um. Mm. I guess I'll sketch out her face. Darker. <laughs> oh, hey. whoops a doodle That's how the professionals do it. They're like, brush, get off my water cup. Jay says, I think you should add hair. Okay. Customer participation. Or viewer participation, so, whatever you call it. Customer participation. I'm thinking of a grocery store. I don't know why, because we were just shopping. <laughs> Did you bring your group on? <laughs> <laughs> All right, she's going to have a tiny chin, because I want one to be tiny. Tiny little chin. She's so scared. Can't make her look too rounded, though, because then she'll look like a child. And I don't want to draw like a scared child. So we're going to... Sharpen up those jobs. Beate says it's neither one of those commercials. It's the um, one where it's like McCormick's been bringing everyone together for the last 11 billion years. <laughs> That's a good commercial. I will. You know, I'm going to stick with the inks. Floating hair. Yes, says Cindy. Um, I'm going to shave. Jay asks, ha um, so have you ever used Posca markers? Um, I have. I have one. So technically, here it is, here it is. Technically, yes, he has used one. It's wrapped still. I have I've there's an open one downstairs too. He can't prove it right now, but yes. They're okay. Is I've it never for done your like style of art. Well, yes and no. I mean it's fun, but I I love these markers. These ones I really like because they don't like bleed or anything. Like they don't ever get droopy, gloopy, gloppy. What are they? Oh, are they Jane's? Yeah, they're Jane's paint over pens. They're not mm. made anymore, so I'm kind of cherishing them. Cherish I, the pens. I have a bunch of them. Da, da, da. I love those. They're fun to build up on. I was, what am I doing? Who am I? Oh, it's open. <laughs> oh, that was very close. Noah says, for those of you just joining, Cactus is drawing a female Charlie the Tuna. <laughs> Noah? And Jenna can't do anything about it. Oh. Jenna usually puts her husband Noah in timeout, so... She's gonna hear about it, Noah. <laughs> I'm sure I have the right to do it, but I'm just not interested. Yeah. Noah can say whatever he pleases. Within reason. It's not funny if I put him in timeout. It's only funny if Jenna puts him in timeout. That's true. Shading with the uh, orange. All right. I'm gonna do... Should I, I guess I'll just do the dark cocoa for hair. Very light shading. I also have my fine text phone. I'd like some gold sparkly something, something. This is the face people make when they like hit, like they do final payment confirmation on any order and then it just keeps spinning and they don't know if it went through or not. This is kind of the face that no, people like. No, this is the face making. when I weigh myself every Friday morning. <laughs> or when you call to see if you have to go to jury duty. Yeah. I didn't have to call. I just checked online. And it was like, if your number between this and this, you don't have to go. And I was like, oh, praise Jesus. Jay care. says, not sure where everyone is from. I'm from Chicago, if anyone cares. Ooh, and we do care. Is it now, do they say Chi? Is it Chi Town? Chi Town? Chi Town? Chi Town? I don't know, but Tabitha Brown was she on a show called Chi or Chai. Or Chai. Exactly. I don't know. What is it? I don't know what it's called. I don't know either. Um, Chicago is one of my favorite cities in the world. Yeah, we stayed in Schaumburg for six weeks. Yes. Um, I did makeovers there when I worked for Ikea. I loved Chicago. I loved riding bikes downtown, just all over. It was gorgeous. It was so clean. The people were so awesome. The food was delicious. I always think it's so funny when somebody like like us talk up Chicago, but then they're like, no, you, you haven't been to the real Chicago. Mm. <laughs> we're like, it's beautiful and gorgeous. They're like, oh, you haven't been to this part. Um, we are actually, we live in uh, Baltimore right now. So we're or in Maryland, which I never thought I'd live in Maryland, but here we are. Yeah. Life takes you in certain places if you let it, I guess. It was almost Sweden. Yes. It's funny how it can go from <laughs> like one thing to the other, but like, that's a story for another time. Like literally a phone call a day apart brought us here. But you know, that's what life's all about, I guess. Choices. And no regrets. Rocky and I have moved over 30 times. 
Yes, we stopped using like wood or like cardboard boxes to move. We ended up buying Rubbermaid plastic bins and we just stack them in our basement. And then when it's time to move again, we just load them up, and <laughs> stack them up and go. Truth. All right. So her hair, what are we feeling for her hair? Flowy hair. Like probably more orange to match the fish orangey. Well, I might do or a yellowy darker because I can't bring yellow out. On, I don't want to bring out a Oh, that's true. So it's already dark. So it needs to go darker. So I was going to do darker and then have it fade off to an orangey color. Okay. That's but allowed. But I'm trying to figure out how I want it. Like there's a little pink. Oh, she doesn't have eyebrows. That would help, wouldn't it? I mean, she's a fish chicky, but it'll help me with a forehead placement. Just a little bit, just subtle brows. Chicago is in Noah's top five favorite cities. Oh, well, now you know it's good. Um, Jay, what part of Chicago, if you don't mind us asking, not like address or zip code or anything, but you know. I'm going to need full details. <laughs> so if I come down like this, oh, that could be fun. Okay. So we're going to get the brush wet so it's nice and moist. Add some gloppy glops of the hot cocoa ink. Edge water. Edge water. I have to look that up. Let's go. Edge water, Chicago edge water, Illinois, Illinois, Illinois. That is right. Oh yes, we rode. I'm pretty sure we rode bikes up to Edgewater, or up that way. Anyway. Is that where you rented it and rode it for like a million years? Yes, yes. I think it's like kind of where the beach ends almost. I think we rode it all the way up to yes. To the Kathy Osterman Beach, and then we went back. It was a very long ride. Near Boys Town. Oh, we're familiar with Boys Town, trust mm -hmm. me. Yeah. We familiar with Boys Town. I did we actually didn't spend too much time there, but we always know where the Gibbards are. Yeah, stop making it sound like hoes. Um although there was that day where you clipped your shorts. Oh and my they... gosh, you guys. So we went to the beach and I had pants on. It was so hot. And I didn't, I was like, I can't with this. So I took fingernail clippers and I cut my pants like a little hole and I ripped shorts out of them. And they were like a little shorter than I wanted them to be. I'll be honest. But I got in the water and got out and forgot that like things shrink when they like dry <laughs> off in the water. So my shorts went from being like short to like short. They turned into denim like speedos short and i went to a restaurant afterwards called like um chicago oven grinders something and they have the most delicious pizza i've ever had in my life um and they had to sit me in like a special area where no one could see me because i look like a little like they're like ho. Put, put, them in, <laughs> put the hoe put in the back in the, in my little short shorts um but it was fun that's so funny and then my card wasn't working so i had to like venmo the waitress at that time too it was just really awkward the whole thing was just very awkward i was like no i have money i promise <laughs> She's like, of course you do, honey. I'm not working tonight, I swear. You can just Venmo me. <laughs> so I had to Venmo the lady, and then she had to pay the company from her Venmo. It was just a whole uh, funny thing. That's worth it. I actually live for those experiences, to be honest, but whatever. Mm, I'm just having fun drawing these little swirly loops. Where is everyone else from on here, if you don't mind saying, like, your general area? I think we know we know some of you guys, like, where you're from, for sure. But we know, we know Trish is in the UK. Which we plan to visit soon. Yes. Not okay. like soon, soon, but soon enough. It's on the list. I'm excited for our trip. Hopefully everything stays, you know, okay that we can still travel. Mm-hmm. Okay, is she done? She kind of might make her eyelid her eyelids pop a little more. Noah's from Houston. What? No, you're not. And Jenna. Houston's a cool city. I was only there for a couple hours, but I liked it. I don't think I've ever been to Houston. No, I haven't been to Houston if you've been there a couple hours. I basically went in there, went to Noah and Jenna's house, and then was gone after that. Took a photo. I had more time. It's because I was in um, Austin at the time. Took a bunch of photos of like the same pose, which was very entertaining. I feel like I need to highlight just a little bit on her jaw. Ash says, hey, guys. I'm hey. from super fun Indiana, LOL. Ooh. <laughs> Are you from like the, the most fun part of Indiana? Lauren's from Pittsburgh, which we really want to go to Pittsburgh and try, like, just visit there. She's like, don't do it. Pittsburgh's cool, how I you, think, anyway. How do you know? You know all the stuff I've watched. It's not, Queer's Folk didn't really take place. No, we often. watched the whole YouTube series on all the different neighborhoods of oh, yeah. Pittsburgh, remember? Well, yeah, that's when we were, when we're, we were going to do, like, a weekend trip to go up there. 
And then we, um, but we will. We'll We're going to come up there at some point, Lauren. We're Should I give her it. like? You're going to see us walking on the street. Let me give her yellow freckles. Yellow and orange freckles. Yorange. Yorick. Arello. Who's Yorick? What's that from? I don't know. Can we... Pain over pains. These are pinpoint pain pins. Pinpoint pain 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 Do they still make those? These? Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are new. Okay. Pinpoint pain pain. And you can do some very fine line work with them. Lauren's all like, yes! Yeah. So it was just like, yes! Really quick. Staccato. Staccato if you will, darling. Trisha says Hamlet. Hamlet. Like a cute little ha Hamlet, Hamlet? Or like the, the play? or Well, she's in the UK. Let me look it up. Hamlet. In Sherbourne? Is that in Sherbourne? Let's find out. Hamlet. These are picking up the ink color and disappearing just a little bit. Which I actually don't mind. Mm, the yellow stands out more than the other one. Is there a street? Oh, there is a street view. I need to look at street view in Hamlet. <gasps> it's cute. It looks like where the Vicar of Dibley was filmed. Oh my god, I love Vicar of Dibley. Yorick. I want to watch that again. We should watch that again. I feel like she's done, but something is missing. I don't know. Maybe her nose is too like, hi, I'm orange. Um, oh, you know what I need to do? Give her a little glitter. Let's see. She's got more of a goldy here. I don't want to do a straight up orange. Mm. All right, let's let that activate for a hot second. While I... What was I going to do? I was doing something very important, obviously. Oh, yes, yeah, looking for a dark brown. Dark brown. Dark brown. All right, so Beate, does this look familiar? Like, is this, are we in the right ballpark here? <laughs> She's like, that's my backyard. No. <laughs> is that like kind of like where we're at? Where we're at. Mm. <laughs> obviously, we stream you everything. Obviously. I like exploring the world, even if it's only through street views at the moment. I think this definitely helped her nose stand out a little bit more and calmed down the orange. Beate says a little more middle of nowhere. <laughs> so no street views for, for that. <laughs> Katie says, hey, Kim, well, Rocky, I made it, even if it's the end. <laughs> <laughs> Just for you, we'll go on for 10 more minutes. Um, ah, toothbrush. And then Noah just put a skull for some reason. I don't I, I missed out what happened there, but whatever. Mm -hmm. It's a skull. All right. Let me just cover that. Just just adding a little, a little shimmer. You know what's interesting about Noah is I've never seen Noah laugh out loud. I've never seen him like chuckle or like holler or just do like a big laugh. Like I, and I find that fascinating. It's not a good or bad thing. It's just like one of the things I noticed one day, I was like, what is it about Noah? Like these, he's very unique. And I was like, I've never heard him laugh out loud. I think that's it. I'm just putting gold on me. Cause that's so pretty. Is that how you fill out the last eight minutes of your airtime here? I'm going to paint my nails for you. Jay no, says, just... what if you add a little touch of red to the hair? But there's no red on the fishies, but maybe. Um, Jenna's close. No, red, says. red watercolor ink, or just like a stripe or two of colored pencil. All right, so watercolor, pencil, or ink. Because the watercolor and ink are going to be a bit gloppier, and the colored pencil is going to be a little more fine. I'm out of coffee. What do I do? Wait, first. We're waiting, Jay. We're waiting for your response. <laughs> hmm. I can start cleaning up some stuff. It's one of those things where we'll probably decide and then everyone will have an opinion <laughs> after you've already started. What would, what do you feel like would be the best, Kimball? I think I need a brownish red if I'm going to do it. Ooh, Ariel is a good color. Ariel, watercolors it is. Let's do it. Well, I don't know. It's more of a purpley red. It's like toned down. I think the apple is too bright. What reds do I have here? I think the reds in here are a little pink. Where's the fish inspiration? Hmm. We have the fish inspiration the fish, that also the somewhat looks like this like candle starter. Right, but that's orange. No, I know. I'm just saying. So like it gets orangey red. 
Gotcha. So I could just mix my orange and red watercolors. Let's Jay do says that. He has the artist's eye. Um, Cassie Holmes says, good. I'm able to pop in for the last bit of the live. She looks awesome. Oh, thanks. We um, did a piece inspired by fishes. There she are. There they are. Let me take this off. <laughs> there, there she are. <laughs> there she are. And our snacks today were from Literally Bite Size Wafer Things, Cocoa Wafers. They look, just... like, they look like this. They just kind of taste like chocolate dust, but, you know, we're fine with it. <laughs> I'm making like a reddish orange color. And we're going to streak it in her hair and hope it's not a mistake. Oh, you know what? I need to like back this out. Can look you're going that high. It's done now. You can't go backwards. Well, that's fine. And we got to add one that said, oh my God, my friend created a character called Rhiannon. Rhiannon or Rihanna? Rhiannon. And like Rihanna the singer? Rhiannon. Oh, okay. And she has red streaks in her hair. Hmm. It totally reminds me of this. Or this totally reminds me of her. That's good. It adds like a little bit of a different tone. It lays weirdly on the inks, but I like it. It puddles like water, which is what she's in. Oh, my Lord. Maybe she came out of the water and she's like, what am I doing? Jay I says, I mean, you have the skill set to probably make even the wrong color work. Oh, you know, I do. You know, what? I really do want to add like a pop of like teal in this somehow. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Noah is wait, just wait, 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 wait. losing his mind right now on the other side of the Internet. Normally, I do like pops of like yellow and neon pink. Welcome, Cassie. Glad you could join. Trisha says, there was not, not that there was any doubt, but she is looking way better than I thought she was going to. Thank you. I had my doubts. Um, Denise says, I watched your other videos where you did variations of fish. They are all great. Oh, thank you. That was when I was huge into Animal Crossing. I know what happened. You just let your characters just go to hell. I know. I feel like if I started up again, they're all going to be like, we left because you abandoned us. You're not going to have a pop star on that island anymore. No, the pop stars are the worst. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm glad you don't do anything. There you go. <laughs> but something happens. I'm My OCD adding, was just getting to me a little bit. Just adding just a little bit of this complimentary color. Mmm, gorgeous. Doesn't have to make sense. It's pretty. One of my favorite things is when you're watching like Jane lives and she's like, yum, <laughs> or what? I can't even do it right. But I love when she says like, yummy, like just, she's like, it's almost like she's tasting something good. <laughs> it's usually when like some two random colors mix, she's like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. We're doing a whole strand because can't go wrong. Cassie says, I love when you had pops of bright color, smiley mm -hmm. face or mm -hmm. smirky face. Mm hmm. But there's so much yellow happening that I couldn't really add yellow as a pop of color. But I could add neon pink. Yes! Get the pink. Bring that pink. But where? I don't know. Where, it's got to be everywhere. subtle. The lips? I don't know. No, because they're already colored in. I need it to be like on the white. Just some random spots. Maybe in the hair strands off in the distance. Maybe under her eye? Mm, no? Is that too much? I could do it like in here. Like fill in some of these little yellow spots. Whatever you think's best. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of fun. Okay, little pops. Little pop, little pop of color. Jay asks, um, do you by chance or any chance have a Wonder Woman version of this or any superhero painting, but with your style? I, for a random, I think it was around the holidays, I drew Wonder Woman. It was a lot of Wonder Woman. Remember when we went live? Superheroes. Like we went live on accident. Oh yes, that's always fun. That was like back in the good old days when we just started doing lives. Yes, so I drew her with a fountain pen, and then it was like um, water soluble ink. So then I like shaded with that same ink, just adding water to it. Um, do I have a few pictures of Wonder Woman. I even did like there was a thing called Wonder Woman Day in Portland, Oregon, and I did some artwork for that. That was digital. Let me take this off. Are you done? Uh, probably. All right, let me take the camera off. Just hang tight, everyone. I don't know how this is going to go, but hopefully, well. Yeah. Kimball's Kimball's going to look around while I take the camera off, and I can actually film the room and him. Well, I was wondering if I had bear with any art. I have Joel's sketchbook from like high school. 
Um, all right, let me hmm. change the settings here so you guys can actually see what's going on. Oh, you on. know what? I could grab her my the art books that I printed out. Mm hmm. So, you know, talk to him. Wait, what's happening? I'll Where are you right going? Back. I'll be right back. All right, Kimball just left. I don't even know how I look right now. Let's flip this around and find out. Probably not great. Try not to turn the camera off, Rocky. Okay, so, oh, that's just dark. <laughs> that's not going to work. Here, let me come around. So, oh, plant apparently a plant almost killed him. I don't know what's happening. Um, how long are you going to be, honey? Uh, 30 seconds. All right, he's going to only be 30 seconds. Anyway, so this is Kimball's uh, room. If you haven't seen it before, let me get more slack on the cord. Well, there's none left. Um, that's his desk area. So he kind of, ba he basically took his table. Let me back this out. He took his table and brought it out into the room. And then he put, this is like a Calyx unit from Ikea. It's just a storage unit. He ran it along the wall that way. I was going to show these. Oh, okay. Perfect. Ooh, there's the back. Camera says it's going to overheat, but let's just run it oh. until, it, until it goes. Out of my way, fishy girl. I don't know something fishy about you. Are we, okay. turned, are we turned this way? Yeah, we're, 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 tell, we're, we're cheating to the camera. Let's just see. Oh, look, Snow White did that for a charity thing. Okay, let's see. Cute. Uh, characters from my friend's comic. These are all my artwork, by the way, just in case you're wondering. Uh, Loki, Loki, Snake. It's the story behind that. Uh, gender Swapped Storm. Remember when Gender Swap was like a huge thing for the comic conventions? Mm -hmm. So I did a lot of gender swapping. Moxie Joe. The people from Adventure Time. Got it. Foxy Joe. Boo Glay. Cute. Guys from Glee. Gender swapping. I'll try to flip this around so you can see the little thing. Okay, got it. Have a huge painting of that on the wall. My character dressed up as Wonder Woman, and Wonder Woman like caught her and whipped her, or, you know, lassoed her. Moisha for, I don't know, you just don't know any of these characters, so I guess I don't need to say. <sighs> so gay, 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 gay. <laughs> <laughs> More gender swapping. Captain Planet Maleficent. He is a hero. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have a big poster of that on the wall or a big painting of that on the wall. All right. So that was on 11 Thumbs. It's a cute little story that I was reading. Okay. Me. Uh, which is of East End. I don't remember which character that is, but there's a lot of them. Oh, we have posters of these hanging up in here. There's that one up on the wall. And the other one's over there. They're fun, though. That was my very colorful stage. Sorry, I'm trying to be as steady as possible. Okay, go ahead. I'm turning the page. Ozma, lollipop girl. Uh, two <clears throat> actors. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ooh, boobies. Uh, so, she's spring, right? Yep. I think she's spring. This is winter. Cute. Vampire girl. Maven. I was trying a very stylized thing back then. She's on. Hey, calm yourselves. No, that's she's summer. Whatever, doesn't matter anymore. All I know is this she's is, done after August. This is like the empty heart. It was uh, it was very sad. I don't remember what it was for though. It's for a, you donated it for an art thing. Yeah, I just remember what it was. Same with that one. Yeah, this is a digital version of a large painting that I did on a piece of wood. It's very cool. It sold for like six or seven hundred dollars. Good cause. Good cause. Uh, playing with texture. This is from a comic called Husbands, I think. Don't remember. Fan art, just stuff for myself. I can't sell them because they're copyrighted characters, but that's it. That's a good little preview. My Little Pony. Wait, let me see. My Little Pony. Let her shine. Wait, let me see again. My Little Pony. My Little Pony. <laughs> All right, show what you did to your art space because I did it really badly. <sighs> well, I took my desk from here and put it here and put this from here to there, swapped everything around, don't know where anything is, but now I feel like I have more space in my room. Nice. How did you feel about doing it with the live? Good. I feel like this is a bit much, so we're going to have to fine tune it, but you know, for last ditch effort, my mermaid uh, Starbucks. All sure. right, so let's see the piece you did again. Oh, okay, we're done with me. All right. <laughs> oh, look, oh. Kimball. Another one for the fridge. I feel like somebody just splattered chocolate all over her face and she's like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the moment. And it smells like chocolate. There you go. All right. <sighs> Isn't it great how well these match the shirt? 
It is. This we went to the Starbucks. Um, what's it called? I don't know. Big fancy reserve. The grocery. reserve Starbucks. Yeah, uh, it looked. I York cannot City. even express how impressive the damn place was. It, it was, was like so crazy. Up. What are you filming? Your shirt. Oh, I was like Starbucks I'll get shirt that you're hiding now. <laughs> yeah, I got two of them because why wouldn't I? It's mermaids. We're not like huge fans of Starbucks or anything, but the shop was amazing. We go there all the time because it's convenient, basically. Um, yeah. So that's that's basically it, you guys. I think we're at the end. So long. Farewell. Just kidding. All right. So, what do you want to say to everybody? You know, I just want to say thank you all for joining us in Kimball's Corner. This is so nice. I can just face you now. I don't have to turn all weird. And I am weird. Whatever. Thank you for hanging out with us, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> thoughts. Let's let's get those thoughts in order. This is why I have Rocky. I can't do parties. I like the awkward moments. I so I just I just let it ride as much as possible. I know, and I'm just like back on track, Kimball. Let's focus here. Um, but reading yes. comments as you talk, so keep going. I just wanted to say thank you all so, so, so much for hanging out with us. You know I love it. I love hanging out with you guys. Um, yeah, if you guys can think of a series or something, again, like we did the 80s cartoons, I, I could do more cartoons. There's a million of them. Uh, always fun. Always always fun to do. Um, yeah, or if there's like a medium or something you want me to try, I'm open to it. As long as it's not like, you know, go get the whole buying watercolors for $300 or something. I don't know how much they are, but they're expensive. <laughs> So, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe for quality content such as this. <laughs> All right, cool. So, Kimball, you know what to do, right? The sign-off music? Yeah, here you go. Here's the camera. Wait, how does this work? You just got to hold it like that. I, Let me back it out a little bit. The things I do for love. There you go. All right, sign-off music. So, um, I'm a clownfish. Thanks for joining me. I look like I got into the chocolate with Pops of Teal for Noah. And, oh, wait, look at all the sparkly.